everybody and welcome back to another GTA 5 LSPDFR tutorial. Today we're going to teach you how to install LSPDFR. This is going to be for the newest updated LSPDFR. This is going to be through Steam. So you got to have a legit copy of GTA 5 and I got mine through Steam. So I'm going to show you how to do it through Steam. Thank you all for coming by and watching. You guys are absolutely amazing. Big shout out to every single one of you subscribers and you sponsors. If you guys are new to the channel, definitely hit that subscribe button. Help this channel out and I'm going to help you install LSPFR inside your GTA 5. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we are going to do is go to Steam. We're going to go to Steam Library. We're going to go to Grand Theft Auto 5 that you'll see right here. We're going to right click on that. We're going to click on Properties and we're going to go to Local Files. On local files right here you guys will see that it says browse since steam updated it has this new thing and what how you get to your gta 5 main directory because your gta 5 main directory is very important it's something that you need to know where it is so what we're going to do is click browse right here and what that's going to do is pop up our gta 5 main directory so you see it right here in my folders for mine it will be storage d steam library steam apps common grant the photo 5 this will be my GTA 5 main directory. Um, you guys need to know where yours is. This will be your root up here. Once you pop this page up, it will show you where your root is to get to your GTA 5 main directory. Mine will have a lot more files than what yours has because I already have LSPFR installed. I have plugins installed, ELS, and all that good stuff. I have tons of tutorials on this channel to show you how to install plugins, ELS, anything that your heart desires for GTA 5. This channel does not stop putting content out for you guys to help you get your GTA 5 exactly how you want it. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. So what we're going to do is we're going to hop over here and we're going to go to lcpdfr.com. I'll leave the link down in the description for you guys. And what we are going to do is we're going to go over here to download. So we're going to click on downloads right there. Click on this little tab right here. And we'll scroll down and you'll see right here it says FR LSPDFR. We're going to click on this right here. So you're going to click on that and you're going to go ahead and go down here. It says some antivirus software programs mark LSPDFR as a virus. This is known as a false positive. So basically your computer will see LSPDFR as a virus. It is not a virus. There's been millions of people that have downloaded this and the proof is right here. There's been over 8 million people that have downloaded this. I'm going to show you how to download it right now. I use WinRAR to open up my zip files. W-I-N-R-A-R is uh what i use it's called winrar to open up my zip files and what you guys want to do so big shout out to sam sam is the creator big shout out to sam and everybody in the lspdfr community all the creators they are amazing at what they do and um what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and scroll down here make sure you guys come down here and smash that like button uh for sam just to show him some love for all the work that he's done for us what you guys want to do is go here and click download this file you're going to click download this file. You're going to get the user agreement. You guys could go through here and read everything that you want to read. Uh, scroll down to the bottom. And we are going to go ahead and click agree and download right here. So we're going to click agree and download. As I stated, I use WinRAR. WinRAR will open up my zip files for me. And you'll see down here that it's going to pop up. So we'll let that go ahead and download. And as soon as it's done downloading, we are going to go to open this file. I'm going to go ahead and open the file. We're going to click in here. And you'll see that it has all this stuff inside here. So what you guys want to do is you want to go ahead and open your GTA 5 main directory back up. For those of you that forget how to do it, we're going to do it one more time. Let me click out of this. I'm going to click out my GTA 5 main directory. We're going to go back to Steam. Go to Grand Theft Auto 5 in the Steam library. We're going to click Properties. We're going to go to Local Files. We're going to go click Browse. This will pop up my GTA 5 main directory. What we're going to do is we're going to take all these files right here. Every single one of these files. And let me go ahead and enlarge my GTA 5 main directory. We're going to take all these files. So I'm going to grab every single one of them. We're going to grab all of them. We're going to drag and drop into our GTA 5 main directory. in this little white area over here. So we're going to click right there. It's going to ask me to replace them due to the fact that I already have it installed. We're going to be installing 1,131 items from LSPDFR. Uh, so this is the manual install. This is the way that you got to do it. Uh, so we're going to let all that stuff go in there. As soon as that stuff goes in there, we're going to replace my files. As you guys see, it's going to ask me to replace them due to the fact that I already have them in there. Uh, but I'm here to show you guys how to install it. So I'm going to do exactly how you're supposed to do it. So you guys see that all that stuff is in there. 
So just make sure that this is your GTA 5 main directory. You guys need to make sure that you do that. So now that we have it inside our GTA 5 main directory, there's a few things I want to show you guys before we start the game up and show you how to actually run LSPDFR. For one, if you guys are wondering how to actually use the keys, because I get a lot of questions on how to pull people over and how to do this and how to do that. I'm going to show you right here. So if you go to the LSPDFR folder that you now have in your GTA 5 main directory, if you click on that and go right here, it has a keys file right here. We're going to click on that. We can enlarge this right here. It will show you how to basically run LSPDFR with your keyboard. Um, you can accept a call out by the letter Y on your keyboard. You can uh, pull people over by shift. Uh, I mean, you just have to basically go through here and read all this stuff right here. And uh, it will show you each key that you have to use for each thing that you want to do. So stop the peds key is the letter E. Um, you got perform frisk uh, with the letter Q. And all that perform arrest with the letter uh, E. So you guys could just go through here and basically just go and figure out what keys you need to use for what you want to do in LSPDFR. Whether that's pulling someone over, taking them to jail, cuffing them, searching them, stuff like that. So remember, it's going to be right here. So if you go back to your GTA 5 main directory, go in your LSPDFR folder, you'll see the keys file right there. So what we are going to do is we are going to go ahead and head into GTA 5. And we're going to show you how to actually use LSPDFR inside your GTA 5. So we're going to go ahead and jump over to Grand Theft Auto. And I'm going to start the game up and show you guys exactly how to start LSPDFR up. Before we actually jump over to Grand Theft Auto 5 and start it up, you guys need to make sure that you start your game up with Rage Plugin Hook. So Rage Plugin Hook actually comes with LSPDFR's download, the manual install. Um, so you'll see it down here inside your GTA 5 main directory. You guys need to make sure you start opening up GTA 5 with Rage Plugin Hook for now on. Uh, so what you guys want to do is double click on this. And since we are just now starting in, starting it up, you're going to get this to pop up for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and click accept on that. Just like so. And what it's going to do is bring this up right here. So console key needs to be F4 plugins. We're going to don't load any plugins on startup. And the reason why I do this, this prevents the game from crashing before you even start up. So it allows you to actually get in the game and then uh, start LSPDFR up. Because a lot of the times when people don't do don't load any plugins on startup, they try to get in their game and the game freezes before they can even get in their game and it doesn't allow them to get into it. So make sure you guys click right here. So you guys see where it's highlighted. Don't load any plugins on startup. I want you guys to make sure you guys do that. Um, we're going to go to game settings. You will see down here that is green for me. It says Steam. That means I'm running a legit version for it and it is going to work for me. I can revert my game version right here, or we can also go in here and back up the game version. I recommend you guys doing this, backing up your current game version. Uh, so in case that update comes out, you can revert to your old one and still play LSPFR until everything is updated. So make sure you guys go over here and back up your current game version. I definitely recommend that. So what we're going to do is you're going to see down here, it says save and launch. As long as you install this inside your GTA 5 main directory, exactly where it needs to be installed, and you see that you're running a legit copy of GTA 5, then you should see save and launch right here. If you do not have a legit copy of GTA 5, if you're running a cracked version, anything like that is not going to work for you. So I... I don't really, I, all I can tell you is go to Steam and buy Grand Theft Auto 5. If you really want to play LSPDFR, go to Steam and buy Grand Theft Auto 5. I'm telling you it's worth every single penny. It may be 25 bucks. I'm not too sure what the price is right now on Steam. But you guys can go to Steam, buy Grand Theft Auto 5, install LSPDFR, and do exactly what I'll show you. And you guys will be in here playing the game. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit save and launch. Just like so. And you're going to see that it's going to pop up like this. So it's saying validating hook right here. And it's going to start launching the game via Steam. So it's going through Steam where Grand Theft Auto 5 is. It's going to load up like this. And you guys are going to see my screen is going to be a little bit different than yours due to the fact that I have a graphics mod in. It's called Natural Vision Evolved. If you guys want a graphics mod inside your GTA 5, as long as you have a decent PC that can handle the graphics mod. Um, I have a tutorial on my channel to show you how to install the graphics mod, where to buy the graphics mod because it's $10 a month. 
who actually get the graphics mod but we are going to go ahead and start the game up as you guys see right there and it is going to go ahead and load in so as you guys see natural vision evolved is going to be the graphics mod that i have that's why my game is starting up a little bit different than your guys's we'll go ahead and get this running for us and we'll hop inside gta 5 so for those of you that are just now starting grand theft auto 5 you guys need to complete the first story missions until you are franklin and you can walk out of the house and free roam around the map if you guys are still in a story mission you cannot load lspdfr up it would not work for you you guys need to make sure you have finished the so at the very beginning you're running as michael and trevor you do the heist at the bank you're running from the cops in north yankton and then all of a sudden you start as michael inside san andreas at the at, at his counselor or something like that and then you switch over to michael and lamar where you guys steal the vehicles so as long as you keep completing the missions until you are able to free roam walk out of franklin's uh house and be able to walk around go steal a car or whatever you want to do um as long as you can free roam then you will be able to run lspdfr you cannot do it if you're still in a story mission so i'm not saying that you have to complete the whole entire game i'm saying all you got to do is wait until you get the first few missions done at the beginning of the game until you can free roam so you'll see i'm going to be able to free roam as soon as i hop in the game i'll be spawning in as michael We'll go ahead and hop inside the game. I'll walk up and I'll show you how to run LSPDFR and where to go to actually get your uniform set up and stuff like that and get your police vehicle. Um, so I have tutorials on my channel to show you how to install actual real life police vehicles inside your game, um, how to make your lights brighter, uh, graphics mods, I mean uniforms, sirens, I mean anything that your heart desires for Grand Theft Auto 5. If you want your gaming experience to be so much better, uh, just come by my channel. I have tons of tutorials on my channel to show you how to install anything that your heart desires. Uh, for those of you that are new to the channel, please, I, I beg you to please hit that subscribe button help this channel grow. Um, we just hit 17,000 subscribers yesterday. Um, so it'd be really awesome for every single one of you to subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell because we come out with content almost every single day so as you guys see i am free roaming as michael i could hop in a car drive through the city do whatever i want so what we're going to do is we're going to type in so we're going to hit f4 on our keyboard f4 you're going to see a menu pops up there at the top what you guys are going to type in is reload all plugins all as one word so you see at the top, I'm typing reload all plugins, R-E-L-O-A-D-A-L-L-P-L-U-G-I-N-S, reload all plugins. We're going to hit enter. So mine's going to look a little bit different than yours because you are just now starting up. Mine's going to spawn me in with a police uniform. Yours is going to spawn you in as um, you're just going to have a basically just a normal ped, uh, MP met ped. Um, so it's going to reload all plugins just like, so I'm already spawning in as a uniform. Um, we're going to let everything load up right here. So LSPFR takes a few seconds to actually load up. It may look like it's uh, freezing on your screen, but basically it's just LSPFR loading everything up. As you see on the left hand side of the screen, I am loading in plugins that I have installed. Like I stated, you guys can come to my channel if you want to learn how to install plugins, which are callouts where dispatch will radio in to a call out of basically a robbery or a pursuit or something like that that's what plugins and call outs are um so everything's still loading in right now so what we're going to do here we're going to type in go to pd so g-o-t-o-p-d and what you guys want to do is type in go to pd all as one word no space in between and we're going to hit enter hit enter you're going to hit f4 and right now we are at the police station. We are at Mission Row, downtown Los Santos. We're letting everything load in right now. It's a little bit, little bit laggy right now. And there we go. Everything's loaded in. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk into the station right here. Get these uh, units out of here. We're gonna go ahead and walk into the station right here. So we're gonna walk in and right here through this door, you're gonna see locker room. So we're gonna walk into this locker room just like so we're gonna walk in right here and you're gonna see a blue circle right there do you see that blue circle right there in front of us we're gonna walk into it we're gonna press the letter e what this is going to do right here is you guys are gonna see it says police locker police garage go off duty for you guys for those of you that are just now starting it's gonna ask you to create a character you're gonna have to create your new character for your patrols 
So what you're going to do is just like starting online on GTA 5. Um, basically, you're just going to set up your character, your heritage, all that stuff. And then uh, you'll be able to come in here, go to police locker. You guys could find a uniform that you guys want. Um, we can change up our uniform. Um, basically, anything that we want. I'm going to confirm this. We're going to go to a police garage. I'm going to go to a police garage. I'm just going to grab me a vehicle. I'm going to pull the vehicle out. And... Um, we have some Virginia State Patrol I just recently did. We'll grab this Tahoe and we'll go ahead and head out. I go to components and I make sure everything is off. We're going to make sure everything is off. And then what we're going to do is select and continue. So you guys are not going to have modded vehicles like I have. You're not going to have like Tahoes, chargers, and stuff like that. For you guys to get that, you have to watch another tutorial of mine to show you how to install them. Um, but we are going to go ahead and... What we are going to do, let me go ahead and take the window tint off my light bar. We are going to go ahead and pull forward. And there you guys go. You guys are now inside the game running as law enforcement. As long as you follow every single step that I showed you, you guys can get out here as law enforcement. Have fun on your patrols. Um, remember, I say go to the LSPDFR folder if you want to know the keys to pull people over, arrest them and stuff like that. Um, but you guys enjoy it. Thank you all for coming by smash that like button. It really helps the channel out If you're new to the channel definitely hit that subscribe button If you know a friend that has a PC that actually wants to do this Feel free to turn them over to our channel and tell them that we can help them install it um, I mean as long as you uh, share this video with them share them with your friends anybody that you know that has a PC That would love to play LSPDFR uh, just go ahead and share this video with them. I really appreciate it. I appreciate every single one of you. Big shout out to all you subscribers, all you sponsors. And I uh, want to say welcome to every single one of you to the channel. And you guys enjoy it. Have fun. And we'll see you guys very soon. Peace.